Hey guys, Energy Legend here. Um, I know I've been on hiatus for like <laughs> a year or two, but it was because I had uh, computer problems and well now I have a new computer so I'm gonna start doing I think Steam games for the most part or other online games because uh, I'm still having some other issues that make it difficult to control uh, record console games so I figured I'd do a little Steam game that I have here called The Binding of Isaac. I'm sure a lot of people have played it, and oh, I'm I'm terrible at it. But um, I guess we should start, and you can take a look at it. I'm sure you know about it already. I've only unlocked two characters, Isaac and Maggie. Um, as you can see right here, this is their health, this is their speed and their attack. Now, uh, Maggie has slightly less speed with a little more health. I'm gonna start with Maggie, just because. I think it's easier. Hopefully, I won't do too badly. All right, up here we can see our life. These are our. our this is our space bar. I have the Yum Heart, which uh, heals your health, but it recharges like once every. So you'll see. Uh, here we have keys, bombs, money. Money can be used at shops. Keys open doors, obviously, and bombs you use to blow up. Um, our arrows are actually tears that Maggie cries or Isaac cries, and this over here is our map. And you can see how to play right here. Move, attack, bomb, item. So, I guess we come up here and meet our first enemies. These are just, I guess, regular flies. They're pretty easy to kill. Um, these are bigger flies that, once again, because I'm terrible at this game, I'm probably going to die to easy things that, say, people who know how to play this game should not get hit by, but I'm terrible. It's, it's amazing I even unlocked Maggie. All right, this is a penny. We can use this at the shop right here if you look on the mini-map. Right there, that's a shop. But um, we don't have any keys, and we don't have any. We don't have enough money to buy anything from the shop. This is a double fly. You kill it, and it spawns these regular red flies. For some reason, if a fly is blinking red, it means it's tougher than a fly that's not blinking red. I don't know why that's the case, but they decided that blinking flies are stronger. Um, I, these guys look like little Isaacs with no eyes, and they're kind of creepy. And they chase after you, and sometimes they split apart, as you just saw. And these, I don't really know what these things are supposed to be. I'm sure, I think after you beat the game, it tells you the names of all the enemies. But I um, didn't read it the one time I did beat the game. <laughs> they run away. I don't think they actually hurt you. But they do spawn these annoying big flies that are kind of dicks. Especially when they're over rocks. Uh, right here, this golden door. This is an item room. And we get a uh, PhD, which apparently gives us better pills. All right. So we find any pills. We shouldn't get any any bad pills because there's items called pills in this game. There's also tarot cards. Ah, oh, fuck. And pills can have all sorts of effects. They can raise your HP. They can raise your speed. But they can also lower your HP or lower your speed. So with PhD, we can't get any of those ones that lower our stats. Only ones that increase them. Alright, right here is the Duke of Flies. I actually know this guy's name. Uh, he's pretty easy for early bosses. Like, you can get some pretty dickish bosses in the beginning, but this guy really doesn't do anything. He just spawns flies, and as long as you don't walk into them like I did before, he's really not a big deal to take out pretty quickly. Oh. I'm like... I know people who are playing this are like, why are you getting hurt so much? But like, I'm concentrating as hard as I can just to beat this early, easy boss. So hopefully, oh my god. God, thank you. Alright, this item is the Cat of Nine Tails. It increases my shot speed. So I don't shoot more tears, but my tears move faster, if that makes any sense. Oh, sorry. That was that was terrible. Um, these are spiders, and um, I don't know what they're called in the game, but I just called them like toppers or leapers. I don't know what they're called. They're legs that kind of chase you around. They're the same enemy as those, but um, kind of creepy looking. Um, as you saw, one of those enemies was like a different shade of shade. Those are like champions or upgraded versions of the normal monsters that you fight and they just take a couple more hits but they normally drop something normally it's money or a key or a bomb 
I hate these spider webs. Even, like, the spider webs are, like, on the ground. Oh, God damn it. I walk right into that. So I don't understand, like, even when you're flying, you still get affected by the spider webs for some... Oh, oh, oh. That was... Mistakes were made there, but it's okay. Because I have my M heart, I can just heal myself right back up when we're safe. Alright. Um, other mechanics... Of, oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> Other mechanics of the game that are important. There are, I'm, I'm done. There are secret rooms spread out, um, throughout the floors. I'm not 100% sure how to find them. I'm pretty sure they're in, they're like adjacent to other rooms. Well, obviously, I mean, two or more rooms. So, like, if I were to guess where the secret room would be, I would guess it was either right here. Because it's in between three rooms. Oh, there we go. I was going to say right here, my other guess. But I was right. Alright, uh, secret room normally contains money. But it contained items and other things. Hopefully I don't die before the second boss. Because that would be terrible. I'm going to have so many people telling me I suck and not to play this game anymore. Um, I don't know what this does. Oh, homing bombs. And it gives me five extra bombs. So that's pretty cool. I don't think I've ever gotten that item before. I haven't got, I haven't gotten a lot of items though, so hopefully I'll be able to continue this for a while and probably not, you know, 100% complete this game because I'm kind of bad at it. But and it's not a very easy game to 100%. Oh, she's too slow. Oh, she's too slow. Okay, so, uh, we're gonna try that again. <laughs> we're gonna pretend that didn't happen, and we're just gonna move on. Um, shoot to whoop. Um, this shoots a giant laser. Ah, you know I'm gonna take it. Uh, I think the Yum Heart is better, and I really don't like this that much, because I miss with it a lot. But it's, it's cool enough to where people who haven't played this game might like the item as opposed to you know people who have played this game and know that I suck would be like why would you take this and leave the yum heart because oh well, yum hearts really helpful um I guess we can just fight the boss right away all right now this is Larry jr he's pretty easy to beat especially when you have an item like super whoop if you can hit oh That was shoot to whoop. Um, it's like the I'm firing my laser meme. It just kind of shoots a giant laser. And um, the thing about Larry Jr. is, I think I called him Pin before, but Pin is a different enemy. But uh, Larry Jr. is broken off into segments, and each segment has a small amount of HP. So if you can hit all of his segments with a lot of damage, you can basically kill him in no time. Um, this item right here is Squeezy, I think. Yeah, they give you tears up and two spirit hearts. Uh, spirit hearts are these, or soul hearts, something like that. These blue hearts right up here in the top right corner. Uh, they're kind of like, I guess they're armor. I, I, I don't really know how else to say. Um, when when you get hit, instead of uh, red hearts going away, um, the the soul hearts go away, or the spirit hearts, or the mechanical hearts, whatever you want to call them. I'm going to call them spear hearts, and instead of the red hearts, so they kind of act as uh, armor. So, like, this is a, I guess, sacrifice room. You walk in, you lose some health, but you can open up these red chests right here. And sometimes these contain really good items, sometimes they contain enemies. Oh, and I got attack flies. They just help you out. Um, this is a secret room where I get unicorn horn that I'm definitely going to take over uh, Shoop to Whoop. Unicorn Horn is... Uh, I, I gotta say, I, I like it. I like Unicorn Horn. It's, it's a pretty good item. It allows for a lot of uh, easy enemy, I mean boss fights, which, as we can see, I have problems with the boss fights. And it also lets you do... Let me see if I can do this. Oh, no, I did that wrong. Never Ignore that. 
pretend that didn't happen. I thought that was a blood bank, bank and I wasn't paying attention. Um, basically what it allows you to do is, uh, there's, uh, there's an, I, there's something in the game called a, there's something in the game called a blood bank. And what you can do with a blood bank is you can, um, it's just ten bombs, that's it? Okay. You can, um, leverage your hearts for, uh, money. But if you use the unicorn horn, you can use the invulnerable state you're in while using the unicorn horn to, um, gain back to uh, not lose any health and just get money for free, basically. I mean, obviously you have to waste a charge of your unicorn horn, but it's probably worth it. And what I just used was a fortune teller, which just kind of tells you fortunes and gives you spirit hearts, for the most part. So I basically just wasted the um, the charge. Uh, this right here is a tinted rock. See how it's different from all the other rocks? If you blow it up, normally it has spirit hearts inside. There we go. There's one. Um, other times it can have chests, or it can have keys, or it can have the upgraded, the item called, uh, the rock, which gives you more, um, higher damage, which is always important in this game. Alright, this is a golden chest, sometimes they contain money, keys, and bombs, but other times they contain pretty good items, so, oh, and it, oh, oh, okay. It had an active bomb inside, which means it was a dick. There's no other way to put that, uh... It actually had an acting, active homing bomb. I'm not quite sure what those are called, either. So we're just going to call them active homing bombs, because I'm not creative and can't think of a name. Alright, uh, 15 cents is generally like the minimum amount of money you want to walk into a shop with, because normally the good items you want to buy in shops are going to be 15 cents. Um, this item is... Mom's purse. Okay, I probably shouldn't have bought that. But it's okay. It allows us to hold uh, items that we haven't even seen yet. They're called trinkets, and they're normally kind of rare. I know later on in the game they are basically essential, and you need them to progress further. So it's kind. Of, this item becomes really good, actually. But where we are, where we are in the game, where trinkets aren't that important, and we probably won't even find any. I probably should have just brought bought a key, a spirit heart, and I should have just gotten out of there. All right, uh, now to the boss fight, because way to ignore this for a long time. This is the Widow. I really don't like the Widow. I basically want to fight any other boss in the early game except the Widow. He's not fun. He jumps around and he spawns these stupid white spider spawners because we've seen that I don't do well with spiders and flies so far. Those seem to be the problem. Those seem to be what I have problems with. All the big enemies I do fine against, but it's these, these little stupid flies that just Hmm. Alright, right here, we're going to show some physics. If you put a bomb, I guess not physics, I don't know. If you put a bomb next to a rock that's near a gap, it should fall into the gap like that. And since it was a tinted rock, it gave us a spirit heart and a bomb back. And now we can, tr basically, we traded one bomb for a bomb, and now we can train a, trade one more bomb for four bombs. So we're doing really well on bombs. Have no money. Oh, these are turrets. Uh, you can't hit them while they're down, but when they pop up, you can kill them. These took me forever to figure out how to kill, because I didn't realize that I wasn't hurting him. I just kept shooting. I don't remember what I was saying. I was talking about something. I think I was talking about how I don't have any keys or money, but that's understandable. Um, we could trade a bomb to get a bomb, but that doesn't seem like there's a reason behind that. These are basically just floating Isaac heads shoot at you they're pretty easy to dodge if you don't suck like I do oh there we go am I dead? nope I just don't want to get hit I want to look like I have some competence at video games because the only games I've done so far are Resident Evil 5 and Resident Evil 6 just came out and I have to say the game is awesome I don't care what other people say and Mario and I basically only played those two games because I'm very good at those two games so I wanted to do something that I'm not good at, and uh, I just dropped it around by accident, and hopefully be slightly proficient at them to prove I have some sort of skill. And I'm gonna do. I'm st still trying to do the Nuzlocke challenge with my with Pokemon Crystal, which for those of you who don't know what, it, what that is, you basically um, play through a Pokemon game, only catching one Pokemon in each area, 
And if a Pokemon faints, it's basically counted as dead. You can't use it anymore. So, you know, it's Pokemon's easy. You know, any button can beat it. But that it adds a little bit of challenge to it that I thought could be fun for people to watch. So, as you can see, I'm trying to do little harder things now. I get PhD again. That's you never see the same item like that. That's crazy. Uh, that's a tr uh, tarot card. We can't get it now because we can't walk over gaps. Um, these are like silkworms. Ugh. Angry silkworms that want Maggie dead for whatever reason. I, I hate these enemies. They're not hard by themselves, but nine times out of ten you get them in like terrible layouts where you really can't avoid them per se and it's just not a fun time these are silkworms without mouths I'm not they don't really do anything they're pretty easy enemies um, you know what now that that hearts there I am gonna go in here and try to get something oh 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 see what I mean sometimes you get good things in here like great items and other times you get troll bombs Um, so, alright, we have enough bombs, so that if I waste them trying to find the secret room, I'm not going to feel bad. I try to save some bombs for enemy, uh, for, bo for boss fights, because, as you, we've seen, I don't do that well against them. Oh. But, it, like I said... We have six bombs, uh, five bombs now, and I'd really like to get enough to go to the shop. Oh, that's enough to go to the shop. There we go. Well, really, sometimes items can be on sale, so those really good 15 cent items can sometimes be like seven cents, but you never know, and I don't want to waste my last key if I can't, if I'm not 100% sure I can buy something good, and even now I'm not 100% sure I can buy something really, really good. Um, okay, nuns have it. That's actually great. Um, I want the spirit heart. You know, I don't want to die. I'm going to buy the spirit heart. If I have to miss, if I have to miss a treasure room because I did that, that's fine. Uh, nuns have it recharge your spacebar item every time you get hit. So right now, the unicorn horn recharges every six rooms, but now every time I get hit, it'll give it half a charge. Alright, peep is another one of my least favorite enemies. Um, he's not hard to beat if you can if you can multitask, basically. Ugh. You know what? I'm just using this. Because that's not even the hard part. This is the hard part now. He pops out his eyes, which chase you around and try to kill you. And... Peep by himself isn't that hard, but it's these eyes that make him so difficult. Because you not only have to pay attention to Peep, but you also have to watch these eyes. And as you can see, I'm having enough trouble just fighting Peep, let alone pay attention to the eyes. Alright, almost. Just died, just died, just died. Thank you. Alright, uh, Milk is a health up, which we have... This is our first health up in both games, because, once again, I'm an idiot and I died... I don't get it. He ran out of toilet paper and people opened the door. Alright. Oh, this is a dick room. I don't know how else to do this room. Come on. You're an ass. God damn it. Alright, uh, champions also... I haven't been hit by a champion yet, but I figure it's time for me to say that champions also do one whole heart of damage rather than the half-hearted damage that all the other enemies do. But they also take a lot more shots to kill. Oh, he dropped the spear. Right, I don't... Oh. I was going to say I don't feel as bad now, but then 
I lost half my spirit heart. I should have definitely saved the yum heart because in conjunction with the nun's habit, at least up until up until you defeat mom, you're basically invincible because every time you get hit twice, you can use the yum heart, which re restores two hits worth of damage. So you're kind of like infinitely regener uh, keeping the same amount of health as you had. Um, now there's a way to walk between spikes, but I suck at it. So instead of wasting my time trying to do it, I'm just going to ignore these unless I absolutely need them, and then I'll come back. Alright, TNT ob obviously blows up rocks. And we somehow, we got a key to go to the item room. So we'll go in here, and, um, I don't know what this is. Sister Maggie. Alright, we have a familiar following us now, named uh, Sister Maggie. She shoots, um, tears rather slowly, but, I mean, if you think about it, it's kind of like getting a damage up. Ooh! I need to get speed up because Maggie is way too slow for this. These guys are just as fast as she is and I can't get out of there. How oh, they do one whole heart of damage too. They're not even, I don't know if these are champions or what, but because I know there's another variation of these enemies that don't have eyes in them. And I think they do only one um, half heart of damage. But these suckers do uh, one full heart of damage. Alright, these are, uh, I guess, bullet flies. When you kill them, they shoot bullets out in all directions. So you just want to make sure you don't, you're don't, you not too close when you kill them. And that champion dropped a key, so we're doing pretty good right now. Alright, I'm going to get rid of the silkworms first, because they'll kill me when I'm not paying attention. So I'm going to try to kill, oh, oh, kill the silkworms first. can't keep walking the flies. Eventually I gotta get good enough at this game where I don't just walk into all the flies. Nope, nope. That, that day is not today. That day is not today. Um, no, I don't want to go here. All right. uh, this is uh, another like form of sacrifice room. If you walk over the spikes enough times, they drop um, crates for you to open. But like I've walked over it like seven times in a row and not gotten anything, so I just ignore that room. Oh, oh, these are the other leapers I was talking about. And you know what? Oh, I shouldn't have gotten that. That's an eternal heart. Um, if you keep it to the next floor, um, it becomes a health upgrade. So we're going to go in here. Alright, and this is... I don't even know. I didn't watch. I think his name is Chubb. Or Little Chubb, or something like that. Or maybe these things are Little Chubbs, and this is a regular Chubb. I don't know. He's not hard. He's kind of like fighting a big silkworm. So, most people won't find him difficult, but I don't like silkworms. So, I find him kind of difficult. Oh, 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 okay. Oh, oh. Please don't get hurt. I would feel accomplished if I can kill this guy without getting hurt. I already waste. Alright, there we go. There we go. Okay, crate gives us one of everything. One key, one bomb. Oh, 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 okay. Alright, uh, this is safety cap, which I believe gives us more um, pills, which is a good thing because we have uh, PhD, which gives us um, better pills. So we can't get any bad pills with safety cap. Um, I thought PhD identified what the pills were. Oh, here we go, full health. I'm going to hold on to that. And this does... Alright, two of diamonds. It doubles our money. You know what? We're going to... We're going to take the full health pill. And we're going to bring the two of diamonds with us. And we're going to try to get three more cents without having to walk over those spikes. Because I know I can get those three cents, but if there's another way to get money, I'd rather take it. Because I don't want to risk losing this, uh, there's no secret room. I don't want to risk losing the eternal heart if I don't have to. Alright. This room should be easy, but because I have a tendency to walk into flies, it can be very difficult. These are my effing worst enemies in the game, are stupid ass flies. Nothing? Alright.
Come on. There we go. Alright, these turrets, this turret to the left over here, it, um, it doesn't have a harder outer shell, so I can shoot it, and it'll take damage, but if I get close to it, instead of shooting three bullets, it shoots five. That's the only difference. Um, okay, we can't trade a key for a bomb, because we don't have, I mean a bomb for a key, because we don't have any bombs. This layout's not so bad for fighting these guys. I can take them here, but it was it was the, that close quarters of that of that one room. That's where I got hurt because I couldn't avoid them really. If I could do more damage, I could, but and we're not getting any money, so this might have been completely fruitless. Oh. Actually, you know what? All right, we're good because I can go back and now use the unicorn horn to grab the money if I can't get it the regular way. Um, let's see what this does. Oh, range up. There we go. That's good. I'm liking that. We could use some more range. We need speed. Oh, uh, this is a mini boss. His name is Pride. Um, Pride is probably the easiest of all the bosses. He just drops bombs and, I mean, all the mini bosses. Drops bomb and does that weird laser attack. Um, the Emperor brings us to the boss room. I want to, uh, um... We'll, 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 we'll see if we come back for that. We might come back for that. Maybe. If uh, we'll, have, we'll have to see. Alright, I'm going to try one time to walk across these spikes. And if I can't do it the first time... Alright, there we go. There's one. There's two. Oh, can we go three for three? Oh, there we go. All right, now we have enough money to go to the shop. Um, we could buy the steam sale. All right, we're gonna buy the steam sale. What this does is now everything's on sale, and it's funny because it's the steam sale. Uh, you know, if you have this game, you probably bought it off Steam. So, and Steam has sales, and they're called steam sales. So, funny writing. Um, alright, we're gonna go back to the Emperor card. Um, only because I don't want to bite me in the butt later if we could have won, if we would have just sped run to the boss. Because I know there's gonna be a point when I'm gonna be pressed for health, and I don't wanna be, have to, I don't wanna have to search through 45 rooms looking for the, um, the boss room. I just wanna get there sometimes. Um, I guess the secret room would have been here. I wish I could buy a bomb now. We can make some up some of the money we lost, but that's... I guess you can't really do anything about that. Alright, now, like I said before, the Eternal Heart, because we're bringing it down to the next floor, it should... Uh, well, it will. It be you'll, you'll see. Now, instead of having five hearts, we have six. Um, and we also... Oh! Alright, these flies are dickish right there, the pink ones, because they shoot two lasers, so, uh, I mean two bullets instead of one. The only good thing about them is that if you stand still, basically they'll sh completely miss you, and I wish we had a bomb right now. Oh, the I hate these enemies too. I hate a lot of enemies. They're, you normally fight these guys in a lot more closed uh, spaces, I can't speak that, in, closed, in tighter spaces, and their necks really get to you. Um, this is friends to the end. All right, this gives us some more flies. Probably should have saved that for the boss. Like this is more commonly the room you fight them in. Oh, and sometimes their heads can detach, as you just saw. Fuck. All right. Oh, so, uh, we're good. We're good. All right. All right. We're good. We're good. Just get rid of this guy first. All right. Oh. Alright, now I don't have any more spirit hearts. I could really use that money. I wish I had the ability to fl Oh, I hate these chests. Because I'm going to get bombs again. Yep, look at that. Oh, see, there are two forms of these guys. The ones without eyes um, are A, they're slower, and B, they do less damage. I'm not sure if they're easier to kill. No idea. But I don't like the ones with eyes because of how much faster they are, especially when you're Maggie. When you're Isaac, it's not that big of a deal. You can normally outspeed them, but when you're Maggie, they're just as fast as you are, and you really can't get away. 
that's why we lost the last fight. Um, we lost to, I think, what is called the Blighted Ovum. And we only lost because he's faster than we are. Um, the Empress. I I'm going to hold on to the Empress. That's what we're going to do. I know I keep changing what we're going to hold on to, but that's because... I mean, at least we're not deciding from, like, bad items. The reason I'm having trouble deciding is because we're, have, we're, we're having so many good things dropping for us that I can't decide which one of the good items that I want to hold. Like I said, I really wish I kept the Yum Heart in the beginning, but, you know, I couldn't have foreseen getting the Nun's Habit. Um, actually, we're just going to fight the boss now, because we're here. Alright, this is Monstro. Hopefully... Oh, no, this is not what I thought it was. Um... Alright, we are cursed. Um, that little, you know, it said, what a terrible night to have a curse. That's obviously a reference to I, uh, Castlevania 2, I want to say. Yeah, not, not 1. I almost said 1. Uh, monsters are easy. You can get them into this infinite shooting state. If you just keep circling around, he'll just shoot left and right. And he's pretty easy to kill once you get him like this. He's probably, because of this, one of the easiest bosses in the game. Because I could have done this in the beginning. But I kind of forgot he did this, and I wasn't paying attention. Like, I'm not even going to waste the Unicorn Horn charge because of it. Um, this is Mom's underwear, or panties, or whatever. Mom's underwear, and it gives us a range up. We still need a speed speed up. We haven't gotten any... Oh, and our, our curse ends after we leave the room. But we haven't gotten any um, damage ups. I guess except for Sister Maggie. No, what was her name? Sister... I don't think, I don't remember what it's called. Whatever the little familiar we have is called. And we haven't gotten any speed ups, which we kind of need. Alright, these, I don't know why, that's a weird layout for these guys, considering all they do is run away. Alright, this room's easy. I'm, I'm, I like this room. Why can't we fight these, why can't we have all the rooms like this? Alright, that's a heart. We still need some bombs. Oh, oh, uh. There are turrets in this room and, like, bloody leapers. I don't know what to call these things. There's there's two types of... Well, there's three types of leapers. There's the spider leaper, there's the regular leaper, and then there's the, the leapers with blood coming out of their heads. I don't know. What? He just... Okay. And those are by far the most ash holes, because they do like these super high leaps into the air, and they're kind of hard to predict, especially when there's turrets shooting at you. You kind of have to decide what do you want to pay attention to more, the turrets shooting at you or the sh shitheads leaping at you. Oh, okay. Um, remember I said um, pride is really easy. Um, then there's... There is ultra pride, which um, is probably by far the hardest. Um, it's supposed to, they're supposed to resemble the creators of the game, whose names I have forgotten. I think they're supposed to, that's what I've been told. That doesn't mean it's right. Um, but yeah, by far, the hardest mini-boss. I'm glad I saved the, um, the Unicorn Horn charge now. Because I would have been in trouble. Ah. <sighs> Alright, the left hand. Um, the left hand makes... Oh, we can hold two trinkets. Alright, the left hand makes more red chest spawn. And as we've been seeing, I just kind of... I te tend to get bombs out of those, but I'm hoping that eventually... Oh, there we go, there's one. That eventually these bombs will turn into items that I can use. I'd really like to not get a bomb. Oh, thanks, game. That's what I meant by not get a bomb. I wanted spiders. Oh, here's another one. Not a bomb. Oh, 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 good job. Oh, okay. I have no one to blame for, like, that's the kind of thing that when it happens, you're really mad, and you're like, grr, why'd that happen? But, like, I had no one to blame but myself. I shot the bomb, I moved it. I was going to say, screw this, I'm using the Emperor card to get out of here. 
I'm going to use the Emperor card to get out of here, but we haven't even seen the item room yet. I would really like to get to the item room before we leave the floor. Come on. Nope, stop moving. All right. We also haven't seen an arcade yet. That's weird. Probably because we haven't had a lot of money. I think you need like five cents for an arcade to spawn. And I keep using my money just as we leave the previous floor. Oh, there we go. Oh, this sucks. This really sucks. All right, there we go. All right, well, we might die soon, which um, I don't know what that does. Um, I think it has something to do with spirit hearts. So we might actually go. Oh, here we go. I think this, this is giving me full health. Yes! Oh my god. Um, we're going to go with this. We're going to get rid of the left hand because I seem to not know what I'm doing with that because apparently all the red chests I get have bombs and or um, spiders in them. Now I have to make this long walk back. I'm not going to explore the entirety of the floor. Um, you know what? Oh, screw it. Let's go. Oh, okay, that was it. I'm not using that because that's just going to screw me over. And I'm not... Oh, I forgot about this chest. I wish I had a bomb now, but that's alright. And I'm not leaving anything important in that room. I'm just trying to go over my head because I would really like to succeed on my first... Um, my Well, I guess my, technically my third run on camera. Aww. Alright, I think, oh, this is Necropolis, this is like an increased difficulty floor, but, you know what, let's do this. Alright, we're fighting Mom, this is, uh, well, the first final boss, there's, there's a lot of final bosses. Alright, alright, alright. Alright, alright. She's kind of annoying, if you haven't noticed. Um, a lot of people find her very easy, but I'm not good at this game, so I find her very difficult. Whew. All right. Oh, oh. I would be really happy if we won here, and I think I'm, I'm pretty sure we're going to. I'm, I'm very confident that we're going to win here. Oh. I would really like for her to drop her foot. There we go. Open your eye. Okay, alright, we're doing good, we're doing good, we're doing good, we're doing fine. Get rid of you, get rid of you. Oh, move, okay. I'm like, I'm like, on the edge of my seat. Well, really, I'm laying down playing this, because I don't know why. Playing computer games are most comfortable when you're laying down. But, if I was sitting, I would be on the edge of my seat, and that's... Seat, not seats, not plural. That's all that really matters. Oh, and did I win? I won. And uh, there you have it, a successful run of the Binding of Isaac. I can't skip this. Um, does this happen every time you win? It's a hive. That's a Mr. Mao. Oh, they are called Leapers. These are knights. Molly, Molly Room? Alright, I'm going to make up names for these things. That's a Gurge? Alright, I know what these are called. Alright, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm rambling now. But uh, that's been, I guess, my first successful on-camera run of The Binding of Isaac. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. And hopefully I will not be on hiatus again, and I can start making videos pretty regularly. I, st I went to college recently, so things have been kind of uh, busy. But hopefully I can make time for this more often. And there we go. I like that picture. Me 
on top of my dead mom. And we're going to leave it on that note. Bye, guys.